Hello. Now there's it. Hey 안녕하세요. guys. What is up, guys? <laughs> this is KST. Very awkward. Danny Kim. David. And Savini. Hi, guys. You have a new setup. We do. I love the teal background. And also, you got a sofa now. Yeah. Why are you sitting it. on the far side of the sofa? Am I? Yeah, get, get closer. I'll sit a little bit. Dude. <laughs> I'm so jealous of you guys. You guys have been sitting on a sofa the whole time. I was sitting this, on this a chair. This sofa is not comfortable though. Yeah, but it's a little bit more comfortable. Well, it's comfortable than a stool. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I'm definitely <laughs> enjoying it. Okay, welcome guys to KST. And before we go on, we have an important well, announcement today. Well, actually, we were just going to do some small talk first. Okay. okay, let's just do some small talk. Okay. Let's make this shit natural. <laughs> okay. Like, like it's ever been natural. We've never <laughs> been... <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. I've been recently going out a lot. I've been, um, because the weather's so nice. I went like Hangang bike riding oh, recently. Oh, nice. They're like 10 kilometers. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Enjoy. That's it. it? That's pretty much it. You? You? No, you, you go first. Oh my god. I, I need to think because I uh. don't do anything. Um, yeah, I've been working. Boring. Uh, working. <laughs> <laughs> working. Uh, but yeah, um, the most recent exciting thing was I already shared yesterday, but I finally went to the Hyundai Seoul. Oh, really? did you yeah. like it? I went too. Yeah, I really? think you would like it a lot because like there was like a bunch of Jordan shoes. Yeah. In that so the place. thing is, it was so big. I mm. was trying to find that place because mm. there was like a place that had a bunch of shoes. Yeah. And I couldn't find it, so what? I was literally. What, what floor was it? It was B two. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I only went to like B. Like, I, I didn't go to there. Okay. I just went on the, like, the top floors. But yeah, it was really nice. You should go. Mm -hmm. It's like huge. Yeah, you're missing out if you're not Really? Going. Don't go on a weekend, though, because there was a lot of people. Mm. Yeah. I went on a weekday. Who'd so you go like, with? Mm. My mom. Oh. <laughs> you went on a weekday <laughs> shopping? <laughs> Who else would I go Why with? Why are you not working? Oh, oh you, was... you got... You put this on. Yeah, I got the grip talk thingy. Oh, okay. What do you call did this you in English? Did you get that from Hyundai? No. It's oh. not, it was a product from Naked Soul. <gasps> Can I see? Very nice. 
Wait, where's mine? How come you guys don't give me stuff like this? Oh, next time one. I'll get something. Do you guys for have you. different colors too? Oh, uh, I think so. Or yeah. just this color. I love this. It's mm. so cool. BTS RM uses it. <gasps> so check out our live stream from yesterday too. The Naked Inside mm. Live. They say it's called a pop socket. Pop, pop socket. socket. Mm, I did not know. Okay. Well, okay. I never knew that was called a pop, pop. socket. Anyway, now to my bit. Mm. So last week we checked out an indie band. Uh, well, indie solo artist. His name is Jay Yuna. And their label uh, contacted us and asked us to promote. Like we're doing a collaboration with the, yeah. the whole entire label. So we have a lot of indie musicians Ooh. that will come on DK to TV now. So we're delving deeper, not only into K-pop, but k and Yes. Are you are you excited? Yeah. Who's your favorite indie artist? <laughs> what we're going to be listening to. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I was very honored because um, they, in their indie label, uh, houses one of my most favorite indie bands at the moment. Their name is Her, Searl, Searl, S U R L. In Korean, we pronounce it Her. And um, it's the music that you've been listening to right now. The song is called Snow. And they are an absolutely amazing indie band. Uh, kind of a mix of like maybe Day Six with Hyogo. Mm. Oh, so if you I like both that. of those bands, yeah. then you'll wow. really like Har. Um, they're an amazing band. And um, cool thing is, I want to share this experience with you guys. Um, so they're actually holding an online concert this weekend uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Um, let me check out the times. Okay, I was obviously not prepared. Okay, 6 p.m. <laughs> Korean Standard Time on Saturday and Sunday. So two days of online concerts. And um, the label actually gave me some tickets. Ooh. I asked them and they gave me some tickets. And I want to share it with you guys because I want to spread the word on this band. They're really amazing. Um, so these, this is a giveaway. This Whoa. is a giveaway. Yep. Mm. And... Uh, there are some rules to this giveaway, so uh, can we can we just uh, put up the rules on the screen? Okay, so number one, you have to follow Searl Sar on <laughs> official Instagram or Twitter. So you can do it either on Instagram or Twitter, and um, then you have to listen to her songs and choose a song that is your favorite, and then post on your Instagram or Twitter feed. Uh, the link to the song or the screenshot of the song that shows you streaming your favorite heart song. And please, please include the hashtags DKDKTVX Sar and also Sar Demo Show and also hashtag K Band. Three hashtags. I'll put it in the chat. Okay, I will put it in the chat. Oh, what? Oh the, oh, the band, band is, is watching. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Hi. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Okay. And also, please tag Sar's official account um, in in your uh, tweet and Instagram um, so that um, people know who they are. So uh, follow these steps, and you'll automatically be in the ballot for winning uh, tickets for this weekend's online concert. Ooh. And I really hope you guys check it out Ooh. because it's re they're a really amazing band, and I'm grateful that they're watching us How right now. How many tickets are you guys going to be giving out? So we're giving three for each day, so it's a total of six tickets, um, and they'll be picked randomly by uh, the label itself. So um, open your DMs, by the way, guys, and be on the lookout. Uh, they'll DM you uh, if you have one, and you'll have to like send them your email address and whatever. Mm. Um, and also, we'll also announce the uh, winners on our Twitter and also on our Instagram for the giveaway as well. So please be on the lookout for that. The announcement of the winners will happen on April 16th, this Friday. So. Please. Um, so they gotta do it before, like yeah. today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it by uh, the submissions end at Friday, uh, 16th, 8 a.m. Korean Standard Time. So please send in all your submissions before that. Just do it now. Just do it now. Right. Go get out of the stream, do it now, and then come back. And uh, since you guys haven't checked out Sorry yet, right? So we're gonna check out a few of their videos. Yes. Um, but before we do that, we made them do something embarrassing. <laughs> We made, we made them shoot. Intro. We made them shoot an intro, <laughs> and they're an indie band. Really? I don't think they're used to this, but let's let's check it out. Can we roll the clip? 
What's up, Dax? We are Korean Independent, sir, and we wanted to say hi, everyone, watching the KTK TV. Yay! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Bendesholi, 토요일, 일요일에 저희가 공연을 하는데요. 제목이 데모 공연이에요. 이제 저희가 밴드 초창기 때부터 나중까지 만들었던 일화들을 이제 공연에 풀어낼 건데 여러 가지 얘기들을 들을 수 있는 좋은 기회니까 많이 보러 와주시면 좋을 것 같습니다. 네, 밴드 소리였습니다. 감사합니다. 오케이, okay. that was Thank amazing. You. Thank you for the message, Har. That and, was so cute. And it's not over yet. Okay, just just let's just watch one music video from okay. Har. Mm -hmm. Um, so Christine, okay. can we play "Don't Say No" by Har featuring Jay Park? Okay. You guys all know Jay Park, right? Yes, we do. Ooh, Set they that on full with screen. Jay Park. Is this is this a sound coming out? No, it is. It is. Yeah, it's coming out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we just noticed. <laughs> Who's seen this video? I like this video. It's so aesthetic. It kind of feels like, um, it kind of feels like a Chongchun drama. Mm. What, what do you call that? You coming drama. of age flick. Are but they yeah. in like a Oops. motorcycle? Oh no! Buffering. Oh, Buffering. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Louder, please. Louder. To be. Are they gonna break shit? Yes. Ure, Chongmai, Kenchanende. Savvy says, I love it. Oh my god. Snoozy Lion says, I'm a fan. Carlene says, Sounds so chill. He has an amazing voice and tone, says Bessie. Injong says, Anna. Oh. Vocals, though. Everyone's loving this. Ooh, okay, so I think you're in the chat. I I am very glad that our fans are loving you. Oh, I'm in love oh what the Oh we I didn't expect a rap Me session. Too. Okay, now they're putting in color too. Yeah. See I told you they were good. Wow. Okay, this this part I like. Woo! He's just jamming. Uh huh. 
There goes my boyfriend, <laughs> says music is like. I'm into this. Who is this? It's a band called Sur. S U R L. Name of their fandom. I don't know. Mm, you Maybe Sur can uh, answer. But there you go. Wow. There you go. I wasn't expecting that. That ending, though. <gasps> nice. Wow. That ending, though. There nice, you go. Nice. Okay, so that was hard, guys. Again, participate in the giveaway. We'll also put the giveaway instructions in the pinned comments down below uh, after this live stream finishes. So if you haven't checked out the instructions yet, uh, you can still participate. Just check out the stream. Stick until the end, okay? Stick until the end because we're going to talk about a lot of interesting stuff today. Oh, today has a lot of tea. Okay, a lot of tea. Yep. It's I I feel bad for Christine because this today <laughs> is like a it was it must have been a really hard to research. Yeah, it was a lot. Okay, so what are we yeah. gonna, what are we going to talk about today? So today we're going to be talking about Sayuri. Sayuri has been having a lot of talk uh, recently due to her baby. She is on Superman is back, so we're going to be talking a little bit about that. Just how the Korean public is handling her and her being a single mother. Next, we're going to be also covering this is the biggest tea. Oh Kim Jong Un uh -oh. and Hoyeji, Hojie, and all oh of boy. this company drama that is going on. There is so much to talk about, so yeah, we're gonna have to dive into it pretty yes. pretty soon. Yes. Sounds fun. <laughs> You're like, sounds fun. Uh, it yeah. sounds depressing. Oh, wow, <laughs> dude, sounds depressing. I was so shocked because while I was looking at it, I was like, dang, this is a crazy. It's like a drama in itself. Right, so, right. Yeah. This is the real drama. Yeah. It's okay to be not okay. Is that the new yeah. drama? Yeah. Was actually a non-fiction. Non-fiction. Mm. So. Some there really go. good tea guys. Okay, let's start with the heartwarming story, I okay? <laughs> so Sayuri has recently been coming back on TV and as you guys know or may not know, um, she is a very famous kind of comedian. She has been in a lot of Korean variety shows and basically what is happening is she has given birth and um, she is a single mother. Now a lot of people... A lot of people might be wondering like, okay, like who is her baby daddy? Mm -hmm. You know, what's going on? So basically what happened is she actually went to uh, like a sperm bank or you know, she mm -hmm. got her eggs frozen. Basically it's like a in vitro fertilization. So basically what that is, is she freezes her eggs. Somebody, she gets sperm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like eggs. <laughs> yeah. She gets it from another person. And then basically what they do is they create an embryo outside and then they, you know, Ooh. hopefully cause a pregnancy and basically uh, she was very successful with that. You don't hear that often. Hopefully cause a pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> basically <laughs> the reason why this happened though is because she went to like a gyno and they said that she's kind of having difficulty giving pregnancy mm. and her body is like 48 so it was a lot older than um what she's 48 no no like her body like oh her, her body yeah age. so basically yeah. Yeah, yeah. they were saying that it's going to be really hard for her to kind of give birth but she always wanted to have a child mm. right uh -huh. and she said rather than having a child with somebody that i don't know All or right. i'm not even in a serious relationship with or any with anybody i would rather want to be a mother and just be fully 100 percent supportive mm. and just be a good mother and that is the route she took to basically being a single parent mm -hmm. yeah and she's been on like superman is back now the controversy is i feel like a lot of people are kind of half half about it there are more people who are supporting of right. her but there are still people who are going to be talking and i'm just like why talking about like, what where's the daddy yeah so basically you know how superman <laughs> is back it's a uh -huh. it's where dads come on the show with their children right. and basically she is on the show but uh -huh. she's breaking kind of like the norm of this or the standards right, of right, the right. show so i think a lot of um people are like like why you know why, why is she are you, on that why show? are you on like the show so they're not angry about her having a baby by herself but more like mm -hmm. why is she on this tv show yeah and i also think it's because her giving birth like that in a way it's not super open to like korea yet mm -hmm. um i feel like it is still kind of like a topic we are getting used to right. so i feel like a lot some koreans might not understand mm -hmm. the mindset mm -hmm. she had going through with mm -hmm. that because some people were like oh you could just do adoption then you right. know? like you know it's a lot different so i feel like mm -hmm. there was a lot of talk with what she did mm -hmm. 
but I mean, I support her. I feel I like I support her too. Yeah, I I was like, dang, she's so much. So she was on the interview and she's like, hey, the best thing about it is I don't have a mother-in-law. Right, mm. which is like, a very big mother- plus. Yeah, she's like, she don't want the so Oh, no now I'm considering that yeah, too. Yeah, she's like, I can. How do you? That. How would you consider that? <laughs> how do you? How do you do? Oh yeah. How does? How do you become a single dad by choice? What? Adoption is the only. Well, way, I could I, guess. I could go give my sperm to a sperm bank and get another embryo and then you know have a have, have a, a foster. What do you call fo- it? What What do you call what those do you moms? Call those? The, 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 the have your teddy more teddy more uh, surrogate, surrogate mother. Yeah. yeah, and then I could uh, if she. Man, that sounds like another layer of complication. <laughs> that sounds like a very complicated process, but I respect you. That's their little they baby right choice. there. As you guys see, it's so cute. Aww. Yeah, so a lot of people are like, oh, what? Who? He looks like an octopus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He looks, you know Can what, we have the picture of, bigger? Yeah, he know, looks like an octopus. You know what they said? They said that um, Maybe octopus. A lot of she gets a lot that it looks like Sam Hemington or like Bentley and stuff. Mm, right. And yeah. it yeah, is yeah. because um, she got to pick who the sperm uh-huh. was, like who uh-huh. she got the sperm from. It sounds okay. so weird. I feel so weird saying like, no, no, yeah, it's no. fine, right? Be comfortable. So she actually chose somebody who doesn't smoke. Doesn't oh. drink. Uh-huh. Oh, you can actually choose yeah, that. So I'm out that. of the picture. For but you this. can't pick their um. <laughs> kind of facial. You, you can't feet. see them. You can only see them of when they were a baby. You can't see them how sperm? they are now. The yeah. Wait, I'm very intrigued. So, like, there's like labels on sperm. And well, I think like, you have like a se- you have like a detailed report about who you are. Uh, right. Right. Just be like, I'm Subin. I'm a uh-huh. casual drinker. I don't uh-huh. smoke. Uh-huh. Um, I you know like. Like athletic, uh, I feel like I am more on the creative side. Right. I think I think you fill something out and also maybe like a personality test or right. But basically, she picked somebody that was like that. You can actually go see their like genetics or like the heritage, oh. um, but you just can't see the picture of like, okay. the person who's a donor. Uh-huh. But you can see their baby photo. That's fascinating. Yeah. Mm. So like they, but they get to choose. Mm. Are are yeah. more like, um, I guess. Good genes, good genetics. Are they more expensive? Oh. What What do you claim as like good genes? Like, I don't know, From like Michael Jordan's or... genes, <laughs> or I'm like the same sure, like, There might be something with like age too, because I feel like isn't like the younger you are, the more healthier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, is. but like, I'm I'm curious if like. You know, uh, genes from really smart people uh, IQ. would be, or really athletic people would be more expensive. I think there will be a business. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but she says that there wasn't a lot of um, Asian people in mm-hmm. the donations, which mm-hmm. is the reason why she picked um, the sperm mm-hmm. that she did. But yeah, basically, she says that she's growing love for this baby each and every day, mm-hmm. and he's so cute. Like every time I look at the pictures, he's just so cute. Whoa. So, yeah. so that's the story. That is a story, and the, um, the son's name is Zen. So Zen, Zen? in Japanese means everything. So oh, she decided to name this so that she can give her life, and it oh, is her everything. Oh, Zen. 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 Oh, welcome to the world. Yeah. Oh. Zen, He's so okay. adorable. Let's read some comments. Okay. Are you are you checking out cryptocurrency? No, 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 no. It was just <gasps> on a live stream? No, it was just. Are you fucking what are you serious? Doing? Yeah. It what was just. Oh my god! Said. It was just on my screen. Wow! No, you were checking out the price. No, I was swiping through. <laughs> we're we're having a heartwarming oh story of this little <laughs> baby octopus baby. And then your and ears are getting a little red. Wow! My ears were already. Wow! Red. Swipe really... swipe left to the most recent. <laughs> wow! It's all wow. there. Wow! <laughs> you just ruined uh, the story dead. with fucking That's cryptocurrency. So funny. This oh is, my god! This is a future. Whatever. Um, men will be addicted to crypto, and women will be <laughs> having babies the other, on their can own. Can read the other comments <laughs> about Tayuri? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's hear some comments about Sayuri. Uh, actually, I missed a super chat. I'm so sorry. Someone sent us five dollars super chat, but we were talking yeah, about hard. Yeah, we, we made yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah. Um, people th- actually believe you now. No, you <laughs> were looking. Chat. I looked. I checked twice. Okay. I this is, when 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 you unlocked it first, I was like. Maybe I saw it wrong, and then I checked it twice, and you were Whatever. like checking the fucking Go on, price. Believe what you want to believe. <laughs> oh man, uh, but yeah, uh, that's the future. Men are doing gonna go. Yeah, to let's crypto. check the comments now. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, baby does look a little mixed. If not, it's kind of like I don't know what. What does that even fucking mean? <laughs> 
Music is life says, I love her. Yes, Miss Independent. Yes. And oh, 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 oh. I, I mean, they mentioned, she said she also mentioned that she wanted somebody with like a high IQ or like, you know, the EQ thing that we were watching. Uh, right, 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 so, right. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, I understand like not wanting shitty sperm. Like I would want to avoid shit. If you're, if you, if you have the opportunity to pick your sperm, then I would definitely not want like some, you know, psychopath yeah. uh, sperm. Like, like I think that's a logical decision. Um, so I don't know how much value my sperm will have. Maybe you can become famous um, and like donate sperm every day and get rich out of it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, if you're gonna like, you know. Ejaculate on a regular basis. <laughs> Might as well make money while doing it, right? You're making money while doing this live with crypto. Uh, <laughs> I was. <laughs> you're, 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 so it's kind of like that. I'm it's kind of like the that. Chat, guys. It's kind of like that. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, put. Expel it out of your body anyways might as well oh make gosh. money then you know send it to tissue paper and down the drain David's gonna do it. Oh, yeah, I might as right. well if I become famous man if, if I, I was I Usain like Bolt I would Michael be like Jordan, <laughs> You know <laughs> if I was the same no, man, not? man, I'd be like that would be my full-time job <laughs> It's spreading. It's 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 human nature. It's, it's passive like, income. It's human nature <laughs> It's the instinct of an animal like to spread your genes and to you know through thrive. through through uh through this method yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. actually a funny a funny side story oh, funny side story okay. um i we actually talked did you talk about it too what in our friend group uh in our college friend group uh like two years ago i think when we were like 26 or something we talked about like um putting our sperm in a sperm bank mm -hmm. so that when we get old yeah and we might want to have kids yeah. uh, then we have the freshest sperm possible yeah, yeah. That would, that would that be, be a good, good idea yeah. i think it would yeah. be good if you want but i feel like as you grow older too your idea of like wanting kids there's people who want kids when they're younger right, right. They're like, oh, i want to have a right. kid i want to have a family and then i feel like as you get older maybe it might be different for each person but sometimes they might change their mind too right. you know right right so maybe i feel like the good age would be not like at a super young age but maybe when you're around like 28 or 30 and you're still unsure about like uh -huh. where you want to go in life uh -huh. I feel like that might be a better or, or or just like when you're like 19 just just put that shit in the sperm bank because like yeah yeah i think your quality of your sperm deteriorate deteriorates as yeah. you age like my sperm active. is not really good anymore and you get uh <laughs> oh exposed God. i probably can barely make babies Guys, anymore we're, we're, but we're talking about Tayuri <laughs> being a single parent be... mom not like the quality <laughs> of sperm or anything my, <laughs> my sperm sucks ass okay chongmin thank you for the five dollars Thanks for the show, fam. Quack quack. Thank you, Chongmin, for the for the shout out. And okay. Andy Lee, thank you for the five dollars. Quack quack. Um, I just want to say this. Like, uh, I don't know how many people are very negative towards that whole situation uh -huh. itself in <coughs> Korea. But if there are those kind of people, they those people just have to mind their own business. Like, yeah. it, it's not affecting them in any way. It's not anything negative. Like, it's it's a it's just a new culture. Not I don't know if it's a culture or anything, but it's just you can call it. A culture, yeah, it's just yeah. a new thing that right. hasn't been very familiar to Korea. So I can see like the um, you know like the weirded out reactions yeah. but like if you just think about it like just go in one layer and just calmly think about it there's nothing weird to it i mean it is it's, definitely it's just her choice norm, but it's yeah i think we should respect her it's decision. just her choice she's living a happy life she's initially satisfied. though she was trying to hide her baby bump too because right. she was afraid like what people, people would judge. say and think and she thought that most of the um, reactions were going to be worse or like negative uh -huh. but um i think that she did get a lot of support and i think that's what's also keeping her going and really giving her kind of like the strength and confidence to be a single parent okay. mom because that's mm -hmm. hard yeah you know? and and i think oh, i've seen a little bit of comments pointing out that uh, the baby deserves a dad too like mm -hmm. when they're growing up like the roles of a dad and yeah. mother are both important blah 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 i don't know like i'm not like an expert on that issue but mm -hmm. like i've seen a lot of uh, my friends that have grown up as amazing people, even if uh, their parents are divorced or yeah, yeah. So I, I grew up. My mom was a single parent mom too, uh -huh. and mm -hmm. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm so you're fine. <laughs> what do you mean? You're, you're <laughs> fine. You're fine. No, 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 no. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Before I, I have something to say as well, but before we do that, uh, Mel Gal Galarza, thank you for the five dollars. Love 
watching Christine cringe. Okay, we'll make her do that throughout this episode. Don't no. worry. No. And Heather. Heather. Thank you for the ten dollars. I would like to see more transparency with sperm donation so that the child has the option to connect with their biological uh, parent later in their too. life if they want. That's Maybe. A, uh, that's a pretty good idea, I think. Yeah. I think yeah, they yeah. should. Uh, but then, like you know, I think that would also kind of uh, reduce the, the number of donors because say you're Usain Bolt and you're like donating or like you're selling off your What's sperm. What's Usain Bolt? Bro? <laughs> he has fucking amazing. He's the fastest guy. He's a fucking cheetah. He's a human cheetah. I would cheetah. rather get Bill Gates' genes than Usain Bolt. Uh, Bill like, Gates no, is no just some guy it. that did computer and got rich. But Usain Bolt, he's like built he, like a cheetah. Okay, this guy is a fucking cheetah. I would want his genes. But like, say you're Usain Bolt and you're selling your sperm every single day. Um, then suddenly, like, you know, down the line, like 10, 20 years, you're going to have fucking like 2,000 people knock on your door and say like, oh, I want to meet my dad. Like, I don't think I would want that situation happening I think as a dad, as a donor. You know? I think what would be good is you can have a part where you could check off if you're okay with um, them contacting you, like in the future, about meeting up or something. You, you're like, mm. you know, you're okay with, you know. Oh, yeah. Maybe you have a baby. check check in. Yeah, like a check in. Opt in option. Meet the baby right. that, you know, right. it got donated. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but. If you're the same bolt, that's a headache. Okay. Uh, uh, Mohammed, thank, thank you, you for, for the ten dollars. Whatever age you have children, just do it for the right reasons. Healthy emotional relationships between parents and kids are everything. But also, Danny, you are a menace, lol. Love the set, guys. Thank you, Mohammed. All right. Yep. Shall we move on? Uh, can I? Can I just add my own opinion? <laughs> okay. To whoever's... Something about if it's something Having about the same bolt. Having it's not about the same bolt. Right <laughs> I have a lot of opinions. Okay. Okay. Uh, so my uh, my thought about people who are criticizing Sayuri saying, oh, if she doesn't have a dad or if like the kid's born in this un normal, un uh, conventional way, then it's going to have issues. Well, my thought is that think of all the kids with terrible parents out there. At least she, you know, she's she I wanted this. This is her decision. She wanted this. She's in a good financial situation. She's in a good, I think, emotional situation where she's fully supporting the kid. She named her kid everything. So she's probably a better mom than like, you know, most of the parents with both mom and dad that don't have, you know, functional parenthood and, you know, child, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you if you think about sorry for going into like genes and stuff. But, well, but, why, why? No, but like if you think about like uh, the origin of genes and like the prehistoric ages and stuff, like the mom and dad al always had their roles. The dad was always the hunter and the mom was like, you know, raising the child nurture. and nurture. Uh -huh. And Sayuri can do both. Like right. she's handling both she's, and she's richer than most of the males of us like in the, in in the modern room. era hunting <laughs> food is earning money and right. she's like badass richer than all the other dudes out there combined yeah. so and also she's emotionally i feel like i would i feel like she's would be a really good mom mm. if she was my mom i would be like excited she's not my mom <laughs> so i'm not excited <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I mean my, if my point is, Bolt was my, my dad. point is, going against dudes, going against dudes, <laughs> like systematically, we're like uh, set, we're programmed to just like wander outside, out all over wander the place. outside the house, and you know, <laughs> just, just hunt everywhere. Hunt outside, <laughs> men are men are shit. So I mean, it might as well like she might be even well uh, without like a uh, exactly. Dad. So you go. Sayuri. I don't know what I'm saying, but you go, Sayuri. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. okay. She's okay by herself. This. So people don't need to. We support yeah, you. Shit on her or anything. Okay, uh, Andy Lee. Thank you for the ten dollars. Reminds me of Family Guy's "A House Full of Peters" episode. I haven't watched Family Guy in a while, but yeah. I don't know which episode you're talking about. Heather, thank you for the five dollars. I have worked with people who are children by sperm donation. They are least at least curious, if not interested, in a connection. It's an emotional reality. Yeah. I mean, I, I can I understand. It would be natural, right? Right. Opinion. I yeah. can understand. Yeah. And I would wonder, like, who is my dad? Is it Darth Vader? You know? Is it Usain Bolt? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That, and, and, and then you're watching the Olympics. That's my dad right there. Okay, let's go. Next on. news. <laughs> Sorry. <Finally. laughs> okay, some heartbreaking news. 
So the next news, how it all kind of started, was Dispatch. Mm. You know, Dispatch always. Dispatch always. Actually, got a photo of Seo Ji Hye and actor mm. Kim Chong Hyun. Um, and they were actually like going to each other's house and they said that they were meeting kind of frequently doing home dates and stuff and they were claiming that they were dating so this is how it kind of all started this mm. whole type of drama are you putting on like a weird sound right now? it's a sad <laughs> sound so basically sad. um yeah they met through the tvn drama crash landing on you if you guys haven't watched that that is probably the best drama so go ahead and watch it they did deny that they are dating and basically what her company said culture depot said that the two stars recently just met because kim jong Hyun is trying to go out of the company and trying to look for a new agency mm. so he was seeking help ah, okay um but they met at home because it was COVID. So that was the reaction or the statement that the company put out. And basically what kind of started to cause this whole controversy or situation. Who? <laughs> First, David looking at crypto, then Danny with his cell phone. What is going on? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. So basically that's what happened and they were trying to get a reaction from his company, right? But uh. basically this is when everything kind of starts spiraling down. Um, his company said that we can't give you a set type of like reaction because right now we are having controversy with him because he is trying to leave the contract they said the company said that he only has 11 months left but he is stating that his contract ends in may mm. so this is a controversy that kind of happened and then they were like we can't get in contact with him so we can't give you guys a official you know statement on the dating rumors or what it is and then they also went on to go say that um she is that he is actually a problem and he started a problem in the 2018 drama time with mm. soyeon and this is when everything was going just whole spiraling down and the whole drama just grew bigger mm -hmm. so the company exposed him mm. and basically he was saying that the reason why this happened was um he was having rude behavior and he left abruptly and it was right. because he was he did have like a little bit of like you know like a sleeping disorder and stuff but the mm. main reason was he was extremely um manipulated by his girlfriend right at the time of the drama mm -hmm. yes <laughs> note that this is all allegedly yeah it yeah. is all allegedly it's all pointing fingers because he hasn't come out with a statement yet at all right right right, right. right. And then basically a lot of people started to go back and look at the drama and look at the things that were happening in the drama, press conferences, and basically like you could tell that he was treating her rude. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is when a lot of people were like, oh, it is true. You know, who is his girlfriend? Like, what the heck? That's so unprofessional. Mm -hmm. Because it is. Like, it is. Like, yeah. Like, right. Right. Believe right. With because of a girlfriend and stuff. That that makes no sense. Yeah. Okay. That's not professional. That's Allegedly. like. Allegedly. That's yeah. like doing crypto and then leaving in the middle of a show because you gotta do crypto. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it makes no sense. So staff also like came up and like they were kind of talking about the situation around the time of this happening where he was very rude to the staff members and stuff. And basically they were saying that he mistreated like a lot of people. You know, he wasn't really like very cold. And then he just wanted to not do any skinship scenes whatsoever what? that's he was crazy very like not responsive you know not cooperative he's, a, he's like a dead frog yeah they didn't even hold hands um during the um the the marriage scene yeah what the yeah. The, the final ending of the drama yeah. the marriage How does scene the with Hyun, the guy doesn't even hold a hand while they're walking down the the hall, do they have a kiss scene? No, you have to you have to see that one staff said he expresses discomfort whenever there was a love scene. One time after making a physical contact with Soyeon's hand, he immediately wiped his hand aggressively with the <sighs> tissue. Wow! I'm not sure if it was a misunderstanding, but Soyeon saw that and bursted into tears on oh, set. Oh wow! This guy's been practicing like. Um, corona sanitization methods like, before be so... Corona was a thing. Now I feel bad because I always do that to Danny. 
Really? really? You wash your hands? <laughs> you, you I, like this, well, you like this, you rub it on I would, I would do that too. If, no, if I'm I always like, you know, when I'm like next to him, I'm like, you didn't shower today, did you? Oh, but yeah. He so smells so... <laughs> he smells a lot. When like, I he heard, sniffs a lot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, Danny. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Don't cry. That was cry. so rude, though. Like, how, yeah, that like, is rude. Like, wiping it off, like, in front of her and, like, being in, like, a yeah, that's, expression that's of rude. disgust. Ew, ew. Well, basically, this is alleged, too, because that's what the staff said she saw. But basically, now we're going on. Oh, Dispatch boy. has released saying that the girlfriend... What's Hoyeji? Oh, bam, bam, bam. Soyeji. Bam, bam, bam. Dude. Oh my god, I shipped the uh, Chloe couple though, crash landing on you couple. Ugh. Yeah, they were saying that Soyeji was super manipulative. She was his girlfriend at the time and she was super controlling and that was the reason to his behavior and why he was acting in such ways. They actually found um, text messages between Soyeji and Kim Jong-un. How did they find this? Yeah, that's, that's the yeah. biggest mystery. Biggest mystery but, yeah. but Dispatch always finds it. Even like when like the, there was a controversy with like the burning something oh. too they found all of the right i think right. they are in contact with probably people with like cacao too to a point where they could do that but i think that's why a lot of celebrities don't use cacao they, yeah, they use, use telegram yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but there a lot of people are alleged no no a lot of people are saying <laughs> that uh probably kim jonghyun revealed his yeah i think so side. yeah because he has a lot to lose yeah. in this battle um i mean he's already lost a lot thanks to this but at least he can reclaim his image maybe a little bit. Saying he got manipulated by his girlfriend well, at least and now not they have being a professional reason. At least on now drama. they have a reason. That, that is even un more unprofessional. Like. You know what a lot of people were saying? You know how the rumors started, the dating rumors of Ho Chie? Yeah. Um, they were saying that maybe the company side, like a lot of people were putting it together, that the company released that knowing that they were dating because they were like, his after at the time right, right? right and then since maybe he was trying to leave the company they like said release that and then they also released like hey remember he caused controversy in 2018 right, right. so they were kind of like really trying to get at it you know they and, were like, just gonna go put for him his in the ass. gutter yeah yeah yeah, yeah i think yeah. that is what they were trying to do and uh. then everything just got a lot bigger and right. i think after the text and the conversations came out this was when like it just really kind of hit the roof. Uh huh. And so, can we can we just read some super chats? Yeah, before I got, we, all, yeah, we I got all of them. So okay. Andy Lee, thank you for the stickers, three dollars. Andy Lee, thank you for another sticker. Uh, and also I got, I screen capped the super chats. Uh, JJJ, um, thank you for the seven dollars. I have four kids. I had them in my late twenties, early thirties. Remember, the older you are, when you have kids, the less patience you have. I love my oh, baby. So oh, guys, I'm so happy make for you. kids when you're like twenty-one. Yeah, or when save you your don't even have time to think. Yeah, don't have time to calculate. And Jenny F, thank you for the one dollar. Yes. Okay, let's go. And also, right now, he hasn't released his statement. So this is all just things that are coming out from news portals. Or, um, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, just wanted to give that a disclaimer okay. before mm -hmm. we go on. So, these are the text conversations. Um, From Albi, dispatch. Right. Abby's Hoyeji, do you want? Okay, I'll be, I'll be Kim Jong Yan. Okay. She's like, Stiff Kim, refrain from all physical contact. Yes, ma'am. Why don't you report what you did today? I didn't even have, I didn't even say hello to the female staff. Totally acted uninterested to everyone else. I'm what? pretty sure he did Wait, not say you, it like can that. You, why are you talking? No, this is my simp voice. Oh, this is, is that my your simp song? voice. This is my. Uh, oh my gosh! Can yes, you just do it in like a more like cold tone? I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Next one. Start over. Yeah. Okay. Next one. It's only you no, can. No, that's. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Only you can touch my hand. Do everything without passion. No physical contacts. Yes, ma'am. I'm stiff, Kim. Are you behaving yourself? <laughs> can I can I read this with my voice? But the the stiff Kim it sounds it's, funny it sounds in like English. Yeah, it's kind of like a. Duck, duck. But even in Korean, it, it sounds, sounds weird. Duck, duck. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm stiff I'm Kim. Kim. Duck, duck. Yeah, I'm Kim. Duck, duck. I'll do whatever for you. And duck duck is like a very uh, derogatory <laughs> term for like old people that have like. Duck, fake duck means fake like teeth. cold. Also, it means like, like your dick's duck, hard. Duck, duck, duck. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Use your dick's heart. Yeah, so, yeah. Like that. I've never seen so, a person use that. Yeah. I'm Kim. Duck, duck. I'm stiff Kim. I think stiff and, and Kim, as weird as it sounds, is a accurate translation. And, and <laughs> why I should say why I should um think I, why I decided to do that in my voice mm. is because he's talking in honorifics. Oh yeah. While Hoyeji is like kind of commandeering him. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. We have two more guys. Okay. Okay. The next one is um. It'll be me. She says, "How did you greet people?" Oh, I didn't even say hi. You don't have to say hello to them, anyways. And even if you do, first, then you can respond gruffly. Okay. <laughs> I just ad libbed that last part. Dang, she said you don't need <sighs> to yes, say hello to the staff, anyways. And if they do first, you just have to respond gruffly. Okay, I'm Steph Kim. <laughs> Dude, what did you do? I feel, I feel, I, I legit feel like this is a kink. It is a kink. Uh, okay, I have my own opinions. Okay, do we have more? Do we have more? Okay, one more. Oh, this is good. Yeah, read that. Oh, I'm disappointed now. Oh, is it me? Yeah. Uh, I keep on reading my. No, this is what. No, it is. It is. It is. It is. It's Kim. Okay. I keep on reading my script without doing anything else. Adjust the script so there won't be any romantic scenes. Yeah, I'm reading that script. Okay, do your best. No romance or physical contact. Okay. Stiff Kim at your service. I'm stiff. Dude. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, let's I'm sorry. Not, I feel bad for like make making fun, fun of, of this yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. That's why yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Like yeah. him, I just got too much into the act. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, we're just <laughs> reading the conversations, but yep. this is a conversation that they allegedly had um, that dispatch found, and we were trying to just give you guys the translated version of it, mm, I guess, since yeah. it is in Korean. Man. Man. That's that's. What? 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 Creepers. Creepers. <laughs> What? Can you, can you drop that? Can no. You just, can, <laughs> can you stop? Can you stop? <laughs> okay. Dude, Oof. but like, man, if this happens, that's that's crazy. If that was, if this is, yeah. Uh, this is allegedly, 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 according to dispatch. Okay. Yes. We're not in charge of any of this. Yes. I'm just putting on an act. All right. Shall we move on? Yep. Yes. So after this, and after all of the text started to be revealed, and after it was revealed that it was Hoyeji, she actually ended up canceling her screening for Recall, which is a movie. So basically, that got canceled, and then um, she actually went on to her Instagram as well and deleted all of her pictures. Whoa, things yeah. serious. She only has eighty thousand uh, followers. I really. Okay. Yeah, wow, that's that's really low considering she was like a main actress in well, I mean, a big drama. Yeah, that's what that's what. Yeah. Um, I movies. mean, she like honestly, she wasn't always that big star. Right, she just but, recently got. Yeah, big. she just recently <clears throat> surfaced. So yeah, basically that is what happened, and then at the time they haven't really um, told or like set a kind of explanation, and right. then her company has set an explanation. Basically, she was saying um, that she's going to be dropping out of the casting for Island. So now she is going to be not going into a drama that she was supposed to go into. Oh no! So they, they they're fucking up her business as yeah. well. Yeah. So they were saying that the script wasn't finalized and they were going to be going into the filming around like oh, okay. June-ish. We, we gotta clarify before we go on. So yeah. that's not her account. Oh really? That was a fan account. Oh really? According to the chats. Okay, we're sorry. We did not know. Oh, uh, what the? So that was not her account. Mm. So let's let's uh, oh, okay. clarify that before we go. What? Sorry. No, it's okay. I, I found that on the news. Yeah, I thought that was weird because yeah. like, that only has 80,000 subs. Reporters don't do their jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you saying that to Subini? <laughs> no, no, no. She saw that on the news. Yeah, because I saw that on like a report or like yes, it was like yes, a news thing. Yes. So I thought that I was okay. putting that out. Anyway, so what happened is she is not going to be in the drama anymore um, for the island. And a lot of people were also saying that, you know how her movie's coming out recalled too? Like she is causing like pihe or like... Yeah, yeah, this yeah. It's like yeah. a huge minus to the people who were right. preparing for the movie too because it hasn't come out yet. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of people were kind of disappointed at that. Basically, um, they were saying that the reason why this happened is usually between when they have two actors or actors falling in love, this type of jealousy can happen. That is what the company is saying um, when they have 
these situations going on. I guess which on. is understandable, but yeah. it shouldn't go over to the like people shouldn't be affected by this. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it should be solved within you two, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and then they were also saying that the conversations wasn't released, but Kim Jong Un also told Soyeji to not film a kiss scene from a different drama. That is the reason why she says, "Well, then you don't do it either." And that is how this jealousy mm-hmm. kind of started to happen mm-hmm. and exchange, and that's why they were kind of very jealous about skinships and stuff as you guys saw in the conversations right. that they were having. Right. <laughs> yeah, so basically that is it. And they were just saying that that is how it normally everybody is, which I don't think normally how everybody is right. like that. Right. Okay, so the texts were confirmed as real by the agency. Hmm. So they are real. So uh they're not like allegedly anymore. Hmm. And they were saying that it sucks that the texts were kind of revealed that way because they feel like it's kind of one-sided in a way as well too. Out of context? Yeah, and out of context and stuff. So hmm. Basically that is their take and um that's pretty much it. They were saying that she was in- immature about her feelings and they deeply regret it and that was kind of like yeah. their ending closing. So yeah. they did admit that that was true and they did admit that they were dating too so yeah. I feel like uh Soyeji, uh no offense, but she should not date actors anymore. <laughs> if this is if, if this, this is true. If if this is true and if like she has an issue with the uh actor like touching the hand of the th- the main female lead while they're doing a wedding scene then i feel like that at that point uh she probably shouldn't date actors Basically, okay yeah i can't believe the company is saying though like they're just trying to like justify that in a way too yeah. because i feel like it's super unprofessional to just do that in general Uh-oh, i was trying to justify right okay, 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 you could justify let's hear your justification no, 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 no. so your... my lo- my logic is I've been in that kind of situation too. Like I'm I'm yeah, yeah. a YouTuber. We were talking about that on the subway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? About your your relationship <laughs> with who? <laughs> you know. My invisible relationship? No, no, your no, former no, no. relationship. Poor. That was Oh, I was like, "Oh, that kind of reminds me of how oh, David Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Anyways, I, I'm no, not we revealing any personal stuff, yeah, yeah, but okay, okay. I was in a a, a similar situation. Mm. And the thing happens is that if you look at a if you look at it on text, mm. it looks as if like oh they're being unprofessional and like they're yeah. manipulating each other and with jealousy. Yeah, yeah. But what really happens behind is you're actually playing with each other. You're like role playing. You're like <laughs> you're like oh like if you go today, make sure you don't grab somebody's hands, okay? And like of course, I'm Mr. Stiff. Yeah. You know, like yes, sir. and next yes, time sir. you're not gonna have you're not gonna <laughs> smile at another person on a YouTube video, okay? And I'm like, I'm sure I'm Mr. Stiff. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Okay. So these kind of things happen in conversations and I'm mm. I'm not trying to defend them or justify yeah. them or yeah, anything, yeah. but I'm just providing an alternative scenario that those things might happen in like a role play mm. situation. Oh, I do love role play. I mean not not even role play like a lot of couples just like I know, you know what you mean I know what you mean because mm-hmm. I've had the exact same uh, conver- conversations with you know um, some of my former partners but um, I I also think like at the end of the day we both know that it's just like a you know a joke mm-hmm. between us it's like oh hey I'm Mr. Stiff I won't touch anybody but they're not actually like you know making me change the fucking script yeah. yeah, yeah. If if that is true, if right, like the changing right. of the script was actually true, right. then that's a major problem. Right. And it does seem pretty believable the change mm-hmm. of the script because uh, there's a lot of people that are coming out saying that that it is true. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, like if it's it's one thing to just have that role play. I don't I don't think like we can say anything about that. But once it goes over to the professional level, and once you're making other people do more work because of your fucking girlfriend, yeah, yeah. who's not part of the drama, like yeah. why are you bringing that drama into this working environment? Is yeah. my number one um, point. Yeah, so I guess they're like, uh, we will still, we still have to see uh, what they have to say. Like Sayaji. Like she spoken out officially. Yeah, yeah, they spoken out. Basically, they said that they were in contact with um, Kim Jong Un too, but he says that he needs a little bit more time mm-hmm. in um, releasing it. And I do think it's because he's having controversy with his company right now. Right. So he's probably finding a legal representative who can kind of release that statement. Right. Because I don't think he would want to Just get in out. contact with a company who is kind of wanting to. 
put him more under right. the, the bus. So, yeah. um, and and I saw um, that Soyeon <laughs> she hasn't talked spoke about anything uh, about this matter, and she just like mm-hmm. limited her um, Instagram comment yeah. section. So I think she's she's she not, doesn't she doesn't want to be yeah, part of she the doesn't want to be part of this. Yeah. So. Even around the time though, in 2018, there was like rumors at the time. They're like, oh, you know, the reason mm. why he left is because the two's relationship wasn't mm. good. You know, like he was rude to her. Mm. But she did come out mm. at the time saying that, like, no, it's not like that. You know, yeah. like we were fine. So if it is true and he did mistreat her and was cold to her yeah. and she still said that, I feel like she. Yeah. Really, Soyeon is yeah. the biggest victim. She deserves yes, exactly. an apology if that it exactly. really did happen. Right. And also, everybody on the production set deserves an apology. Right. Oh, yeah. also, also, actually, today, like uh, this anonymous poster on, uh, I think it was Pan or some online community came out uh, exposing Soyeji of her uh, personality. And oh, yeah, like yeah her, I saw that too. Yeah, and, and this is actually circulating really fast right mm-hmm. now. Like, she. Uh, verified that she was part of the staff. She, mm-hmm. s- s- she was an A and R or something, or like she was like a writer. I don't know, mm-hmm. but like she verified with her sign and like the script for her like drama screening and stuff. And then she came out saying like, you know, she uh, yelled at them, she like cursed at them, and she mm-hmm. said like, uh, actresses are um, professions that live off of emotion. So mm-hmm. like you need to. Fit She's my just being a diva. emotion, yeah, yeah, stuff like that. And there were a lot of like testimonies there, like um, claiming why she's like a put bitch. Up, put up the basically, alleg- put up the alleg- allegedly, allegedly, yeah. allegedly by this poster. Uh, and this person said like, um, I've never seen an actress this, you know, mm. bitchy before. Mm. And uh, that's that's currently adding a lot of fuel to the fire. Yeah. Um, and also there are other allegations surfacing that she was involved in some kind of school violence issue yeah, too, school bullying uh, issue too. But the, yeah. the let's not let's not go over to that side. Yeah, yeah but I'm just I'm just yeah. I'm just giving because you right what's now, going like on. even her ex and like the stories and rumors about her exes are coming down too. So uh-huh. I feel like everybody is just like digging right, deep right. into her and trying to figure out about her. But I mean, I do want to say this too, though. Kim Jong Hyun, he also did have like a sleeping disorder and also you know eating disorder, like mental illness too. So I feel like he probably was going through a hard time, and I feel like whatever situation he was into. Not it's not fully like a hundred percent like on her at two. On like. on Sayaji? Yeah. It's not on Sayaji. Yeah, like not a hundred percent. Cause he did was he was going through well, stuff too. It takes two to tango. I mean yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think, you know, I I, I would clear I would I wanna clarify that victim the victim is Hyun and everybody on the production team yeah. that had to deal with this bullshit. Yeah. If someone was doing this shit on my drama, which I don't have I would fucking kick them out. Like that's that's not a behavior that you take to the workplace. Agree? Yeah. Agree? Yeah. It's tough though. It's tough. I I can't imagine it's, even being, like, if if he was going so through that and he was going through health stuff. It is hard to work, and I'm pretty sure like right. that like the girlfriend issues were just adding on top of that. And right. I think he just couldn't like handle it. Yeah. Um, and it p- kind of just like peaked. But I do definitely uh, think that he owes but an he, apology. But he played too. by her rules though. Yeah. Like he also like yeah. you know did that like oh like fuck like he was part of the team. Yeah. So. I don't know. Mm. I, I, I I know a lot of people have pity for him, but I also feel like, you know, he, he is responsible to some extent too. Mm. One one thing though is like um Soyeji, uh I don't know if this is all true or whatever, but one thing for sure is that her career is now seriously oh, in yeah, danger. We were talking yeah, yeah. In about danger. that too. And she's like mass cancelled. Yeah, so anyways, um, uh, and also this massive witch hunt is going on too, like, uh, I don't know if she's a witch or not, but anyways, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, I just feel like Korea these days, like, when, whenever, like, this kind of controversy occurs upon a celebrity, yeah, it's it hard never to ends, recover. it never ends, and your career is just done after that, Yeah, so, it is hard to yeah. recover. It's really, I mean, really Irene hard. came back. Irene came back, but also Irene didn't make people change the drama script based on her pr- private life, mm. yeah, right? Like, yeah, I just don't understand how an actor has the balls. I think he has a lot of balls on the set. Mm. We call it like, 
안방 뭐지? 뭐? Like 여포 여포. Oh yeah yeah. So he 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 acts like a diva on set, but then to his girlfriend, he's like the sub. Oh. I also think that um, Kim Jong Un is gonna have a hard time too, cause he was in talks with um, Seo Ji Seo company too, remember? Mm -hmm. And I think that mm -hmm. after this controversy, I don't know if they're gonna be wanting to sign an exclusive contract with him, because they were open to the idea when it was just the dating rumors, and then after like all of this started to kind of like just spiral down, I don't Ooh. think that they will. They okay, sorry, I I just found that they released a statement just now. Okay, can you like, read? Five Has minutes ago? Oh shit! Okay. Oh, this is a lot. Holy shit, that's a long this ass is statement. A lot. So, okay, I'll try my best to translate. Okay. okay can you airplay? Uh, no. Okay. Um, uh, any, it's Korean, anyways. So, okay. uh, in the midst of Soyeji um denying all allegations of revolving around her, uh, Kim Jong Un is not uh, is silent at the moment, and um, okay, on and on. I think I read that. No. Wait a sec. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this is like a recap. Where, where is? Oh wait, the... wait. Okay, let me read the first. Okay, 서예지 인과 응보다. Oh, I don't think that's it. 전. Where, where? Who released the uh statement, guys? Can you, can you, can you guys? <laughs> can you guys? Can you guys? Can you guys? Wait a bit. We're just who released the statement? Tell us in the chat. No, I, um, the most recent one that I looked up was her company. Hours ago. Yeah, her company. Yeah, this is the same one I'm seeing right yeah. now. So, um, I don't think Instagram story. Oh, Instagram story. Okay, give give us her Instagram handle, please. I think it was gold medalist, whatever. Yeah, it was gold medalist. Give her sir Instagram handle. Gold medalist, I think the label gold medalist name is gold official. medalist. There's no story on that though, <laughs> and she doesn't have an Instagram account. Okay. Yeah, there's no story. Mm, I don't, I don't know. Where are you guys? Like, if there's a link. Yeah, please, please, uh, share us the IG. Oh, we already talked about it. Okay, so what are you guys talking about? We, we already read the statement. Subinia already talked about the statement that you guys are talking about. Oh, maybe they're just people that joined. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys are now confusing us. Oh, Soyeji. Oh, Soyeji released something. That's not the official camp. That was 16 hours ago, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious, I man? I think Serini covered everything. Yeah, because when I was, I, I covered this I'm very this disappointed like in you. 10. So, um, it came out. But this was like the last straw of what I was covering. Man. You guys. You guys. Okay. No, no. No, no. Okay. Uh, I thought we had breaking news, but... Uh, if you guys got us excited and shit disappointed yeah. yeah so basically her company was saying that it was just like a love fight um it happens yeah. naturally and that basically there was just jealousy and he did that at the same time too he told her that mm -hmm. and then that they're sorry for her immaturity and yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so uh is there anything more to talk about on this i mean like I it's mean, a pretty straightforward case yeah there don't, isn't don't show up to the workplace <sighs> with your girlfriend's issues yeah, there's just, a bunch, play shit. there's just a bunch of things that are going around with her right. and like her. Have ex. you ever experienced anything like this in your life? I've experienced something recently like this. With really? Danny. What? Can I talk? Can I speak? Oh no. <laughs> well, I, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> no, you're, no, no. you're very reluctant <laughs> on telling your Tinder well, now stories. Now I get Kim Jong Un's side of the you're story. You're very like. <laughs> like now I get him. Literally, we started yes, a master. new. <laughs> Literally, we started a new series with Kelsey oh, yeah, yeah. last well, week. Yeah. No, 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 no. Let, let me but, speak. Let but me it was speak. out of courtesy, okay? It was not okay, because me someone yeah, made me, me do let me, it. Let me, let me listen. It's, okay. not, it's not even a big story. Like, we recently started yeah. a new series. Let me just do the promo okay. uh, called Naked. Shh, shh, shh. 
Uh, we, we started a new series called Naked uh, every Friday, every other Friday with Kelsey. And we talk about Korean dating and relationships and waxing and all that kind of stuff. And Ooh, last. Let's talk about waxing. Yeah, oh, this, you want to join? This week's. I love waxing. You love waxing? You oh, oh, yo, yo, come on though. Friday, man. Okay, start, stop trying to delude about, the... I could talk about conference. waxing or sugar. Okay, yeah, this is like okay, a totally different go. topic. But, but uh, yeah, anyways, we were talking about Tinder dates on the first episode. And it was our first launch. It was our first episode. It was supposed to be juicy. And everyone was supposed to prepare a very juicy episode of their Tinder dates and mm. personal experiences. And Danny's like, I can't. Well, because well, okay. I'm in a very okay. specific situation right now. Yeah. And then I was like, what the? F <laughs> wow. Well, I have a new master. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go. Re let's rewind like two minutes before what you said. Don't drive your <laughs> personal oh. stuff. Hey, into hey, the hey, room. hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay. Okay. First of I'll all, I'll just leave it there. First of all. What? Just go on. Oh my <laughs> god! No, no, no. I'm so in a very happy place right now. You know, when you're when you become a family guy, <laughs> when you become a family man, you know, you're the Okay Stiff Kim. Your life <laughs> You kinda of become <laughs> stiff Kim, okay? Once you become a family guy, life becomes different. Okay. I noticed that too, David. Mika, yes. I can't I can't be babbling Danny shit anymore. He's with a master. I'm not like a 26-year-old. He is a submissive. <laughs> yes. I'm a okay. male sub. Anyways, that's funny. Yeah. Please subscribe. <laughs> sub. Sub <laughs> this channel and only 606 likes. Yeah. 3000 of you. Where, where where's the rest of 2400? <laughs> stuff. But uh, <laughs> Danny, put some likes for Stiff Kim. Your middle name is Stiff, Stiff now. Kim. Danny middle. Uh, Danny Stiff. I wish Kim. we could. Can we, Can you? Can you like change <laughs> <laughs> that on the fly? I want to change that on the fly. Oh, uh, I love this. Oh, this build up was. Great. Oh man. Yeah. Stiff, Kim, Stiff, Stiff Kim. Kim. I was letting him t say everything he wanted uh -huh, to, and uh -huh. just like boom. Right. Oh man. Oh. Well. Well. I can I explain myself? Yeah, but it's not as bad as like that. Yeah, situation. like I'm I mean, not like going up to yeah, you and saying I like I can't have Subini on this show. <laughs> you know, because she's a woman. What? I can't have women around me. <laughs> Sandra, I I'm <laughs> only saying I can't talk about my uh, fuck capades anymore <laughs> because <laughs> because okay, okay, the more you speak, it's just gonna it's. It's, yeah. There's there's a difference there. Yeah, okay. let's just I'm not go on. acting. Let's go on. Okay. Yeah, can yeah. we watch this really quick? What what is watch that? what? A lot of people are asking if we can replay um, Kim Jong Un being rude to. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. Let's can, watch can that. Can you yeah, yeah. show it on the screen? Airplane. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oops. Why did you disconnect? Sorry. Oh, that was funny. Connecting guys. I'm just a family guy. Okay. Maybe Kim Jong Un's a family guy too. Oh. <laughs> Why is it not connecting? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Can you have the music? Okay, let's look at the footage. Hmm. Oh my god, Soyeon's beautiful. What? He, he's just like... Oh, nothing happened yet. Nothing happened? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's exactly the point. But Nothing his happened. face, though, he, he, he oh. didn't even look at her. He's, he's like, cold. oh, I he's like, don't I don't care. know this person. I don't look in your direction. Why is he so mad? I don't look in your How direction. How scared? No, he looks like he's playing the part. Okay, hold up. Where's the hand? Yeah, hand. Wait. Where's the? Yeah. Oh no. Oh oh. Oh, don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that face. That's Stiff Kim right there. <laughs> oh, no. He's a family guy. Sorry, He's a family Sorry, guy. Sounds like awkward. Oh, man. I would not want to be in Sayon's shoes at that point. Like, wow. I feel so stressed. Oh, no. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. This part, too. Damn. <laughs> wow, he's like he evading knew. her. He's like evading her like Oh, oh, then oh, the girl pushed wow, her. Wow, again. this is so uncomfortable. I think I think she knew to I think she like didn't want to like 
stay next to oh, me. Oh, she's getting closer. Oh, she, she's kind of like wading the waters with the right hand. Isn't that crazy? He like, right just like was like, you can go. I don't want to stand next to her. And he just moved her. Well, that guy looks like my, my friend. Anyways. Yeah, Junyoung. Yeah, yeah. He what? What the fuck? He looks like my friend. Yeah, but basically that. Oh, wow, he's distance. okay with the guy. The yeah. Wait, wait. Let, wait let's, let's play. Let's his... play. Oh, he's okay. He's okay with the guy touching. And him. He gets the... cold all of a sudden too. No, the guy's like constantly. Oh, he's touching the guy. Oh, the guy doesn't want to go. Uh. Wow, every... this is so awkward. Well, you know, manner hands. I mean, he literally moved from her, though. Like. Whoa, wait, where is he now? Whoa. Huh? Oh, wait, wait. Wow, he missed. Oh, this kind of reminds me of this drama. Can I can I show you just one clip before we go? Which, okay. Uh, uh I don't know. No, 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 no. I want to show you this funny clip. Yeah, yeah, just about that clip. I, I don't know. Like, uh... I think it's like he might be in a bad mood or whatever. I think it's too little evidence to judge. I think he was judge. really trying to like um the like keep into consideration to like don't be close to her, don't mm. be close to her. I don't know. It's just because like, we have that in our head right yeah, now. True. But if I just watch this like on an ordinary day, I would just think well, maybe he's just having a bad day. But um I don't know. I don't in my personal point of view, I don't think like that's enough evidence to just judge like that but i do agree that he was kind of cold like overall in general like he didn't even greet her like he didn't smile at once like like so a lot of people were also saying like the previous dramas he was in and like the female leads they were like he acted way different towards mm, them so mm. basically around this time and like the dating so i feel like a lot of people are just trying to like put things together since he hasn't come out with it yet yeah. but um a lot of people are saying that like he treated Sion so bad and like other female leads was just like can, nicer can you check out my cacao talk message right now okay uh okay yeah check can you it. open that Okay, so this is this is a famous uh, incident happened that happened in. Uh, can you click zoom in? So this 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 guy is avoiding <laughs> the ring girl. Can you scroll down? And he's like avoiding taking pictures, and the ring girl's chasing. Do you know why this happened though? Yeah, because he actually uh, grabbed a ring girl by the waist. The first time. The, the first when time. He won, yeah. And then and then he got uh, like hardcore canceled because people said it was sexual harassment mm -hmm. yeah so he had his personal a lot um, of people were also so saying that like because he away. won and like he still has like the adrenaline like you know like yeah, he, he in the moment yeah, yeah so waist, i mean you need to yeah. get the like the whole picture and like right. the actual statement yeah. from the right. person himself so like i don't know it might sa seem very rude and cold but um before he speaks it about it like it's i think it's too hasty to judge yeah okay yeah. Anyway. a lot of people said i looked very mad uh during like some public events too while i was just really perfectly calm so i i get confused misunderstood a lot too so mm. yeah i have some some people call that i have like a uh, resting mm -hmm. bitch face face yeah you do do i <laughs> i'm just stiff kim <laughs> Yeah, this is my this service. is my ordinary face. This is my ordinary face. Um, but he's probably gonna speak out pretty soon yeah, yeah, for yeah. our next KST. So um, if you maybe let's be on the lookout. Time, we'll be on the lookout. Yeah. Um, giving you guys yeah some updates. Um, if he comes out with them by next. All right. He should though. All right. Um, so there you go. That was the update on um the entire drama. Hope you guys see the full situation now, and hope you guys enjoyed this episode of KST. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, thank you for. Oh, Patreon.com. All right. We didn't do any plugs. Yeah. What the hell? Patreon.com slash DKDKTV. We're going to do live streams. We are doing live streams every single week on Patreon only. Uh, we've been doing that for the past two years. If you join now, you can watch all the past episodes as well and talk with us live on our next live stream. Patreon.com slash DKDKTV. Um, and support this channel. I think you guys really enjoyed it. We have 3,000 people. Oh, please press a like. And yeah, the press a time. like, first of all. And if only like 10% of you join on Patreon. And please leave a comment too for interactions. Please leave a comment saying Danny Stiff Kim. Right. I like that. Let's get that going, trending on Twitter. Danny Stiff Kim. 
Simpkin at your service. Do you want to be Simpkin? No. Um, Why am I Simpkin? <laughs> how like hard have you simp for a girl before? Like me? How hard? How, how? What I is your simp level? I feel like you wouldn't simp. Honestly, I honestly simp, like before you go, like I don't really understand the nuance. Why are you rolling your eyes? <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> But you don't feel like you would be a... Simp. No, no, no. I don't really understand <laughs> the English nuance of simping. Like... I don't really get the tech... Like, like this, 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 this. So, like, what would be it in Korean? I know, mm -hmm. like, the general meaning of simping. Like, yeah. you're just having, like, this awkward... But... Ah! Mm -hmm. Are you sure that's the meaning? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I have a fucking song called Simp that I released. Oh, okay. Then, <laughs> then you know what? I'm a pro simp. All oh, right. Yeah, he's a he's a big simp. When I simp, I simp. What's the hardest simp you've simped? <laughs> what? Hardest <laughs> simping experience? I don't know. I would I would donate my liver to my. Girlfriend. Wow. Meet a simp like David. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and go to Patreon.com/slash/DKDKTV. Please simp for us. David you know? Shrimp Kim. Oh no, Simp Kim. Me, yeah. Me, yeah, simp. Um, and also please uh participate <laughs> simp in Kim, our giveaway. Simp Kim. Please participate in our giveaway. Uh, we have two free tickets to the Sahar online concert. Can we show that on screen as well? Oh, you closed your laptop. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so can we uh, show another video that yeah. we didn't see? Uh, maybe the last one. Okay. okay um, and yeah, we have four, six tickets that we're giving away to one of my favorite Korean indie bands at the moment right now. Uh, we're doing a special collaboration with them. Um, they're on this weekend online concerts at 6 p.m. Saturday, Sunday. Um, and the event closes at April on April 16th at 8 a.m. KST. Uh, the winner announcement will be on the t on noon. Is that noon? Of I, I don't fucking know. But sometime, you know. In that day, uh, and you will receive a DM from the Sarl official account. So please uh, open your DMs. And how you participate? This is important. Number one, follows hers Instagram. Can can you can you show that again? Follows hers Instagram uh, and or Twitter account, and listen to her songs and choose the song you like the most. Post on your Instagram or Twitter feed the link to the song or the screenshot that shows you streaming the song. And please, please include the hashtags DKDKTV, uh, X, Sir, or is her demo show and hashtag uh, K band. So please include all those three hashtags and also tag her official Instagram or Twitter account. And do we have a music video ready? Yes. Okay, can you connect? Oh, oh yeah, I have to connect to the studio. Yeah. Uh, before we go on to the music video, I just want to read some funny comments. Okay. So, simp. A man who puts the hose before the bros. Urban Dictionary definition. Oh, are you a hose before bros guy? <laughs> are you hose before bros? I don't know. I don't know. Um, also, a lot of people saying David Simp Shrimp Kim. Danny Stiff Kim. David Simp Kim. Um, <laughs> uh, can we put on something else? Yeah. The other, other YouTube videos. And right? also, SKSKTV. <laughs> I don't know why this yeah, yeah, is so no. funny. <laughs> DK, SK, DK, TV. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, this is so funny. Okay, and we're gonna use this as the ending. Okay. Can you put that on? Yeah. This is their song "Stay Here." Yogiye Itcha by Sol. Okay. So there you go. That's KST. Please uh, participate in the uh, giveaway. Um, we'll put the instructions again for uh, the people that are joining late uh, after we upload in the pinned comments and also patreon.com slash dkdktv uh, please support us and this live stream and uh, please check out naked soul naked soul kr and we have a live stream coming up this Friday as well at 11 a.m. with Kelsey the Korean we're gonna talk about waxing do you want to join I'll join in the chats, maybe. Okay. Where Do you, you want to phone in? Do you want to phone in as maybe, an expert? Maybe, maybe, maybe. How knowledgeable are you in waxing? Waxing? Like you well, do it, it every depends. single week? Who waxes every single week? I, I read a thesis paper. Uh -huh. Stiff Kim. Stiff Kim. Oh, wait, where? We were talking about down there, no? Yeah, yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you, yeah. I know, I know. I was shocked. There was a fast. thesis paper. Maybe it's uh, some caveman or some shit. Okay, okay. anyway, that's the episode. Goodbye. We're going to end with this hard song. Bye. Bye. See you guys next Wednesday. Limp Kim. 1 p.m. <laughs> Limp Kim. Okay. Kim. There we go.
Um, yeah, before we end it, Jenny Carpio, thank you for joining our Woo! membership. Yeah, um, I just wanted to do that shout out. Bye. <laughs> Mahudo.